how to build an acrylic nail. I know what you're thinking. Dude, you guys have 8 million videos on how to build a nail. Wow, 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 wow. But this one is actually gonna be different. We're gonna break down the overall basics and structure, big picture that you must know if you're a beginner. You gotta watch this video, it's gonna be good. Just, just ask her. We're gonna have 8 million and one. And this one's the best one because who's not in it? Great. Yay! Yay! today and we're talking about acrylic he's gonna be mad he's gonna be he's gonna be a little bit offended i think that he's not included in this video and i feel you really betrayed do we care do we care we don't care not even a little not even a little oh that's cold I wanna break down this video because this helped me to understand acrylic application and consistencies. So if you're a beginner, you must watch this video. I'm telling you it's gonna help, it helped me huge. Okay, there's three sort of phases, more or less, right? When you build an acrylic nail, is that correct? You got your free edge, so the tip, right? You got the cuticle area, flowing forward and then you got your just your extra strength making sure your apex your stress area is nice and good ball that is the overall sort of basic structure now i want to go through each of these and then i want to talk about why they're important first and second what consistency the acrylic has to be when you're in the step so let's start with number one building a free edge why do we need it tracy and what consistency does the acrylic have to be to build the free edge so when i'm building a free edge i like it in a clay consistency i used to do this all the time like i would pick up a pearl kind of like i would normally on the body and i would put it through the free edge especially on a form that's kind of slick and it just goes whoosh off the sides makes that noise too whoosh so whoosh, and you're like trying to in the side and then push it and then it keeps sliding down until it starts to get to a clay consistency. We just want to start at the clay consistency. So how do we do that? Well, we still need to pick up a good size pearl. So we still get a good amount of liquid on our brush. We put it to the powder and then we drain it a little bit on our towel. That sets the pearl up, removes the excess liquid, put it to the form and it stays put, but it's still movable like a clay. You can still mold it and move it. Why is the free edge important in building the acrylic what what is it exactly what does it do for you i used to use a tip right a tip i tip the nail and that was my guide and that's where i really uh, struggled with forms because i was like i don't have that guide anymore well when you create that free edge you have just created that guide it is your guide your tip and you straighten it you put it straight with the sidewalls now you know where everything else is supposed to fall in line now for the second part once you build out that tip you got your clay like consistency you're ready to go now you're ready to do cuticle area and body this is the second step why is it important what's the consistency that you need well this is important because now you're getting part of your structure and your strength right so the consistency we want is something that's going to flow now you might think no i don't because i when i hold the finger and i put something that's fairly wet on it it runs it goes whoosh to the sides again that same sound same sound Got it. a little different a little different pitch <laughs> and it runs into the cuticle but no that's why we teach you to point the finger down so we get something a little wetter the reason we want it wet is acrylic is at its best adhesion when you first lay it down when it's wet right so we get it to the the middle it's nice sucked down there but we still need to kind of walk it around the cuticle so we need a wet consistency so we have the time to do that hold that finger down it's keeping it from running to the sidewalls and it's keeping it from running to the cuticle area that's going to give you the run it's going to give you the flow and the products working for you for the cuticle area do you drain that pearl at all no not typically once i i used to i used to because i was so afraid of it running everywhere and then what happened is i would tend to build up this uh the cuticle area a little too thick then i had a lot of filing you do a lot of filing at the cuticle you can actually create lifting, lifting. so once i learned that point that finger down yeah. and when i say point it down it's not the slight thing it is like it's i down. I, it's down nice. uh once i learned that then i'm like oh crap you can get it pretty fairly wet and a really good size large ball and it's gonna move where you want it 
beautiful. And then finally, number three, when you've done those two steps, now it's the last step, kind of like a touch up or filling in any spaces that you see in the structure. Why is that important? And then what consistency do you need of acrylic there? So this is the mo uh, not most important, but your final important step because you're gonna finalize your strength and your structure to make sure that everything doesn't break, that you have a nice little upper arch, that your, your sidewalls are uh, thick enough, your stress area is thick enough. This is kind of an in-between consistency. I don't want it too runny. I want it to stay where I put it which is typically towards the center of the nail. So I go kind of middle of the road. I do a very light draining of the brush. I set it down, it stays where I want it, and I can mold it and move it where I need it. And then bonus question. We always gotta have a bonus question. I think it's very important. What consistency should my fist be when I connect to Greg's jaw? There's something on your face. <laughs> it was pain. Tracy, any advice here? You want it completely like full max hardness. <laughs> So you're gonna completely drain your fist before <laughs> it hits the face. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.